Hey, my name is Jakub Piesik and today I want to show you something related to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager and it's totally new feature from the, not from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, sorry, from the Intune and it's the Linux support. On today's episode I will show you how to enroll the Linux device to the Microsoft Intune. So let's start! <music> In the first step, I created a new Ubuntu machine. It's Ubuntu 24.04. And I installed it with default, sorry, with most default settings, but I use the encryption on my disk. And during the bot, I need to provide a password for that uh, encryption key. And when the machine will be running, I need to provide a uh, password to my uh, primary account. So I'm selecting my primary account providing a password and now the machine will be running on. To have a clear, clear situation, situation, I will update it to the newest version. Okay, now machine is updated to the newest dependencies etc and everything is up to date on this machine and the first step what you need to do is install the Microsoft Edge. So let's do that. I am typing the Firefox Edge Linux. I will download it. Let's see again, go to downloads, open with another, select, ah, now it's it. I'm clicking the install button, providing a password to my account. And now the Microsoft Edge is installed. So let's see. Okay, Microsoft Edge is here. There's a first configuration window. That's okay, we will close it. And when the Microsoft Edge is installed properly on this device, the next step is install the Microsoft Intune application on this Linux device. You need to do that via the copying the commands from the Microsoft Learn, Microsoft Docs website. Those commands are available here and I will paste that link on this description of that movie. First, we need to install two dependencies, core and software for the signing keys. So I'm copying that commands to the Windows, to the terminal. When those two dependencies are installed, we need to install the Microsoft package sign-in key. We need to select a proper version for the Ubuntu. I will select the Ubuntu 24, 2204 because earlier I checked that in the, for example, on the version and OS name Ubuntu 2404. So I'm copying the pull command. It's okay. Now we're installing the key. And adding the source. Okay. And on the first step, we are removing the from our device because it's not needed anymore. Okay. And now we updating the our store repositories and you see it's now added. This store repository from the Microsoft and its last step is install the Intune portal. Yeah, 
Yes, I want to continue. When this installation will be done, you need to reboot the device. So we will reboot it. After the reboot, you can go to the menu. And Microsoft Intune application is here, so I'm clicking on it. I need to click sign in. And provide a user which will be logged to this device. Uh, now I need to register my device, clicking register button. Okay, now we have information, set up access, set up your device to access email, Wi-Fi devices, apps for your organization. What is interesting for now, we have only the micro, uh, compliance policies for the Microsoft Intune for the Linux, but you know, we need to start from, from something. And I'm starting the enroll. And when the enrollment is done, we can go to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Devices Linux, and after some time, we will see that this device was enrolled properly. And the next thing what I want to show you is the um, compliance policies because those are for now only enabled for the Linux platform. But firstly, I created an additional conditional access policy, which will be affecting only my one test user and it will be affecting the one cloud application. It is Office 365. That means the Office 365 application will be affected and grant access if the device is marked as compliant. For the test purposes, I logged in, in private mode in the another machine and I wasn't able to log on to this service because uh, I'm using the device from the another organization. But I will see if I will be able to log on using the account which is not affected by my conditional, um, conditional access policy. I sign, sign in, yes, and I was able to log on. So the uh, conditional access policy is working properly. I will close that machine for now. And we will create an additional compliance policy. Create policy Linux settings catalog. Compliance policy. default settings as a name and providing a name as settings device encryption required device encryption yes hello distribution distros huh, interesting but i will be not adding it custom compliance scripts okay it's nice and password policy okay can be added also, but for now I will be require only the device encryption. I'm selecting the next action for non-compliance, mark device non-compliance. Okay, zero. Okay, so mark device non-compliant, clicking next. And I need to create an additional group for my Linux device because I forgot about it. So as you see, I created a new dynamic membership rules. Device OS type equals Linux. If I go to the validate rules, I added two machines to my uh, validate rules. And the Ubuntu is marked as proper device in this group. I'm clicking the save, clicking create. It's here, I'm assigning to the device group. Group membership zero devices because it's still not populated. So the compliance policy, it will be not assigned because cannot be assigned because the device not, is not in this group. 
We will check the compliance status again. And of course, you will be uh, compliant because I have the device encryption turned on. And if I go to the Microsoft Edge right now, portal office. No thanks, don't want to sign in for now. The SSO is working properly. Wow. And now I am able to log on to this account. So the next step to show you that this compliance policy is working properly on the Microsoft Intune, I will show you on the another Ubuntu machine where I will also install the Microsoft Edge and the Microsoft Intune application, but the device will be not encrypted during the installation of the system. So let's see. So as I said earlier, I created an additional device, installed the Microsoft Intune on this device and my Microsoft Edge, and we will see what's happened. This machine is non-compliant right now because it's not don't don't have the encryption on this drive. From that machine, I will be able to open the Microsoft portal, but if I try to open the same if I will try to open the Microsoft portal from this machine portal office.com the SSO it will be working but compliance policy is not is applied properly my device is not recognized as trusted and access cannot be provided so for today movie it will be everything you know how to enroll the devices to the microsoft intune uh, the linux devices to the microsoft intune you know how to create a compliance policy and yes and it will be everything so thank you for watching and see you on the next movie